If we now take a founder that comes up with a new product and they want to think, what's the methodology to try and basically incorporate behavioral economics thinking into their product or into their company? What are the few questions that they can ask themselves that would really help them build a product that is based on these principles? On the big questions, I think they need to do two things. One is they need to ask, what are they assuming about their users? What is motivating them? What is causing them to want some things versus something else? And they need to make sure that they're explicit about those assumptions. Because a lot of times when you write these, these assumptions, you realize maybe you're not as sure about the assumption as before. When you start writing them down. That's right. So you can ask the question of, you know, what is causing people to eat large portions? Or what is causing people to and not keep to a diet? Um, you know, what is causing people not to repay debt? Whatever it is, what is causing people? That I think is the first thing. I would not start with what are the competitors are doing. I would basically ask, what is my model of humanity as it interacts with my product? Basically, writing down what do you assume I think is step number one. I think step number two is kind of like where the rubber meets the road. Basically go very slowly through the experience with your product and at each point ask yourself what's the friction and what's the motivation, right? What is holding people back and what would give them extra motivation? And it's not an easy process, but those are the processes I think we need to go through. And then the other thing I would say is that there's this belief in get out early and iterate. I don't know about your experience, but my experience is that people do get out early, but they don't iterate until it's too late. 